I'm standing on the uh, runway of what used to be Croydon Airport. This was used during World War II as a station, uh, as an airport to fight the Germans. And this is all that's left of the uh, of the runway, and it's it's now completely surrounded by fields and shopping malls and industrial estates. Fittingly, there's a guy over there flying a miniature airplane, a drone. There's a, there's a monument over there dedicated to this airport and the people who died and fought in Croydon. That road is the A23 which goes all the way to Gatwick Airport and Brighton and joins on to the M23 and Croydon is about 20 to 25 miles from Gatwick which is a uh, the second largest airport to Heathrow. a real airplane. This is the uh, monument dedicated to the uh, the pilots and the people who died in Croydon. In God we trust.
This memorial is in tribute to all connected with Croydon and its aerodrome who gave their lives either in the air or on the ground during the Second World War, 1939 to 1945. And there's some uh, beautiful flowers right by the base. Beautiful. Remembered always. The possibility of defeat never existed. That's right, because you won. They gave us our freedom, as William Wallace said. You can take our lives, but you will never take our freedom. Braveheart. This is the old uh, terminal building now called Airport House which has uh, some offices inside and notice the uh, the art deco styling of the building It says uh, Croydon Airport Terminal Building, 1928 to 1959. One of the first purpose-built terminal buildings in the world. Croydon was London's first international airport. So much history here. And finally, I just want to show you my, uh, my private jet which I sometimes take out on weekends you know maybe if I decide to go to the Bahamas or Spanish islands you know such a hard life being a billionaire <laughs>